Dedicating their lives to cancer research is more than a job for grad students Catherine Fahey and Amina Wally. It's personal. My mother, my maternal grandmother, and both of my maternal grandmothers have breast cancer, had breast cancer. My father had uh, colorectal cancer, and so um, I had been thinking about it before he was diagnosed, but I think the year he was diagnosed and um, he passed away later that year was really what spurred me to go on to specifically to focus on cancer research. Without that personal motivation, that commitment to science drops off considerably for women. Studies show women earn just a third of undergraduate degrees in science. It's worse at the master's degree level and even worse for doctorates. When you're in graduate school, you have equal numbers of men and women. But as you get further and further along career advancement, it starts to not be the case where suddenly now it's a higher percentage of men. Why? Basically, science is still biased. When both male and female science professors were presented with identical lab resumes from either a John or a Jennifer, the majority felt John was a better candidate, and John was offered a starting salary of 30000 versus 26000 for Jennifer. Another example? Male scientists, on average, receive almost $900,000 in grant money for their research. Women receive just $350,000. Sometimes I feel like I lack confidence. I know that I think it is more common in women in science than in men. So student organizations like MD, PhD, Women in Science are popping up at many universities and giving women the much-needed support they need to succeed and shrink the gender gap. I'm Jessica Sanchez, reporting.